A Columbia temp agency had to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for workers hurt while collecting trash for the city. Thanks for choosing us tonight. I'm Ashley Strohmeyer. Joey has the night off. Tonight, ABC 17 News investigates what's happening at Columbia Solid Waste. ABC 17's Lucas Geisler joins us now on the desk. And Lucas, this is what's causing recycling pickup delays right now. Ashley, I submitted a records request to the city utilities department after this sudden shortage that was announced last week. Now, the dozens of pages of emails and contracts I have detail what happened between the city and express employment professionals. Columbia Solid Waste remained short-staffed this week, delaying the pickup of recycling. Emails between Solid Waste and express employment professionals shows that the temp agency left due to the high cost of injuries. An email from Kendra Davidson of Express Pros to Solid Waste Director Steve Hunt says Express racked up $200,000 in medical costs in just eight months. City Manager Mike Mathis told us last Friday that a temp worker fell off a trash truck and broke his foot. Davidson said in an email last Thursday that their workers would no longer be helping. Quote, we simply cannot continue to carry the overall loss slash burden as a small business. I had not heard that, but no, I'm not surprised. It's an ongoing issue with our own permanent employees. City Councilman uh, Mike Trapp has heard the issue rates. before. Injured trash collectors drive a large amount of workers' comp claims for the city. It's why some wanted the city to move from bags on the curb to roll carts, similar to what Jefferson City and Fulton use. But voters in 2016 approved a ban on roll carts. Trapp says it may be time to revisit the issue of changing the trash system. Is your um, convenience and the aesthetics of the trash bag experience worth putting someone's life on the line? A spokeswoman for Solid Waste tells me they've taken some people from the recycling facility to ride on the trucks and pick up bags. The department is currently looking for a new temp agency to help out. And then, Lucas, utility leaders say using temp workers isn't the best idea. One assistant director actually says in the emails that I have that using a temp agency is not a sustainable way to staff the department. Right now, Solid Waste has seven vacan vacancies for trash collectors, with a couple currently out due to injury or illness. All right, Lucas, thank you.